Now, students, today, as I just told you right now, we're going to start with the discussion of the play on the face of it. One very important message this play it gives us is about our outlook towards life. Our perspective changes everything. There might be two people who are going through the same problem in life, but what makes it different is their response to that situation. How we handle that situation, right? This is about two people, right? We have Mr. Lamb, and there is a young boy, Derry or Derek. How both of them are going through a similar situation in life. Mr. Lamb is handicapped. He has a thin leg. People make fun of him, right? They call him Lady Lamb. But he is not bothered about how people behave towards him or what they call him. He has a very positive approach towards them, right? And he teaches us a very, very important lesson that just because you are different from the world does not mean the world is going to change for you. Right? And this is, I would say, a very, very important life lesson which we all should remember. That if something happens to us, we are going through a problem, you know, at the end of the day, yes, people might uh, express their sympathy, they might show their concern, but we have to face those challenges ourselves. Definitely the support of others, it makes a lot, but it is our mind, it is our attitude, it is our outlook towards life that changes. Mr. Lamb is a very positive person. He has a very optimistic approach towards life, right? The second character is Derry. Derry, he is a young boy. What has happened to him is that acid has fallen on his face. As a result, half of his face is burnt. And because of that, he feels that you know, the world is always staring at him. People are always looking at him strangely. They keep on making him aware that you are different, right? They make they, him realize his short time. And you know, otherwise he's a normal, healthy individual. His face has a problem. That does not mean he is an incomplete person. That means he is a complete, normal, healthy individual. And he can face life with what? A smile. But no, he decides to hide away. He does not want people to talk about him. He does not want people to stare at him. So he wants to hide from the world. Right? So we have two people. Mr. Lamb is physically handicapped. Derek has a burnt face. Both of them have a different attitude towards life. Right? So like uh, in the previous chapter that we had discussed, if you remember, should you visit it, mommy? That was uh, so the story took a change because of the skunk. The skunk is not like other animals. The skunk has a foul of smell and as a result, animals stay away. Right? And the animals are not friendly, the animals are not comfortable with the presence of that animal. Right? So here, of course, this, the little child wanted the sun to change so it could fit in with everything. That is wrong. Now here, Mr. Lamb, this is the lesson that he is going to teach Derek. Now when someone is going through this terrible situation in life, when you are facing this problem, there will be 10 people discussing or telling you that there is something wrong with you. There will be only one person who will be supporting you. And at the end of the day, positive words of even one person is more than enough to change your outlook towards life. 
okay right this is a very very important lesson it's a, a very important life skill that we learn and each and every sentence each and every part of this day is so important to give us courage to give us this positivity and especially when many of us are going through their you know like a very difficult period it's very important that we rise up just because i don't look like others does not make me less important in this world we have read stories of courage and bravery we have acid attack victims right coming forward dealing with that right and how they have accepted the challenges of life if you keep on staring at someone that means there's something wrong with you not with that person okay so now let's start with the chapter what mean that we have mr lamb and we have jerry okay now mr lamb lives all alone in this big house he has a beautiful garden the doors of his house they're always open and uh, there are boys coming and going there they come there to pluck apples and uh, right so they come They come and tease him also. They call him Lady Lamb, but he has no problem. He's very happy with his little space. He's there in his home. He's there in his garden, and he makes the jam and he takes care of the bees and he finds positivity for life in the garden which he has. Right? Daddy, he thinks that this house is deserted. There is no one over there. He wants to be in isolation. He wants to be away from the world. So what does he do? He decides to climb into this house, thinking that this is a vacant house. There's nobody over here, right? Because the garden is not very well taken care of, and it gives impression that no one's over there. So he climbs up all the way to the house, and he, to his surprise, he comes across Mister Lamb, and Mister Lamb, with his philosophy, with his approach towards life. teaches him very important lesson so that one person that he meets at his school that he changes him he brings upon this positivity in his life okay right let's start here mr lamb's garden there is occasional sound of bird song and a tree leaf like rustling then footsteps are heard as he walks slowly and tentatively through the long grass He pauses and walks on the beach. He walks around the street, pauses, so that when Mr. Lamb speaks to him, he is close at hand and there he is. Then he enters the house, thinking that no one is there. Right? So he sees this long grass, he sees these bushes, and he thinks I'm going to sit here alone and spend my time over here because this is what he's been doing. He's running away from people. Okay? Right? But to his surprise, there is a person in the house. So when he hears Mr. Lamb's voice, he's very surprised. Mr. Lamb, mind the apples. Who? What? Who's that? Who's there? And he doesn't know this yet. Lamb's mind, mind the apples. Crab apples goes up. Wind falls in the long grass. We could trip. Right? So there are apples. And uh, they fall off the tree. There are so many of them in the long grass. They could fall down. I, they, uh, I thought this was an empty place. I didn't know there was anybody here. So he thought no one lives here, and otherwise uh, he would be accused of entering uh, somebody's property. So he's quite worried. That's all right. I'm here. What are you afraid of, boy? That's all right. So you come here. This is my house. And this is never mind. Don't worry. I thought it was empty. So it is. Since I'm out here in the garden, it is empty until I go back inside. In the meantime, I'm out here and like to stop. A day like this beautiful day, not a day to be indoors. He said, "Well, I'm outside and the house is empty because I'm in the garden. But it's a beautiful day. It's a nice day." Now I will go out indoors. I'll be outside only. I've got to go. That's why I oh I I thought nobody would be here, and I it was an empty house. That's why I came here. 
I think I should leave. Not on my account, because I am here, don't go away. I don't mind who comes into the garden, the gates always open. Only you climb the garden wall. You didn't notice that the gate is open. You came climbing the wall. Right? So I, I don't have any problem who comes and goes. And I don't have any problem with you over there. Right? You were watching me. I saw you. But the gate's open. All welcome. You're welcome. I sit here. I like sitting. Since the gate is open, I have not seen any other country in my house. So you can come from the gate, but you climb the wall. Okay. I have not come to steal anything. So right, uh, I climbed the wall because I did not want anybody to see me, and I thought this house is empty and maybe the gate is closed. Right. So I have not come here to steal anything. No, no. The young lads steal. Scrum for the apple. I'm not so young. Young boys come here, they steal the apples, spoil the apples, you know, when they come over here. But you are not so young. I just uh, wanted to come in into the garden. So you did. Here we are then. You don't know who I am. A boy, 13 or so. 14. But I've got to go now. Goodbye. Nothing to be afraid of, just a garden, just me. But I, I'm not afraid. People are afraid of me. That is why there is hesitating. I come to this house, he's surprised to see Mr. Lamb over there. He was expecting nobody to be over there. And he sees Mr. Lamb, he wants to go away. He says, I did not come here to steal the apples. Other boys say, come to steal the apples. I have not come for that. I just want to go away. And he said, are you afraid of me? He says, no, I'm not afraid of you. People are afraid of me. What are people afraid of? They. Let's see, why are they afraid of? Why should that be? Everyone is. It doesn't matter who they are or what they are or how they look, how they pretend. I know. I can see. So people are afraid of me. When they look at me, they might pretend to be brave. They might pretend it doesn't matter. Right? But they are afraid of me. See what? What do they think? What do they think then? You think, here's a boy, you look at me, and then you see my face, and you think that's bad. That's a terrible thing. That's the ugliest thing I ever saw. You think, poor boy, but I'm not. Not poor. Underneath you are afraid. Anybody would be. I am. When I look in the mirror and see it, I am afraid of you. So what is Derry saying? Why are people afraid of Derry? They are afraid of Derry because of his burnt face. They pretend not to be scared, but they are. Right? So they look at me and they say, oh, oh boy, then they go away from me. Right? That is why I don't want this kind of reaction. I'm not afraid. I'm not a poor boy. I don't want people to be scared of me. That is why I stay away from people. This is why he thought this is an empty house. It's an unoccupied house. So he came in and he didn't even notice that the gate is open. Otherwise, he would not have come. He saw the gate it is like he climbed across the wall, over the wall, sorry. When I look in the mirror and see it, I am afraid of you. So people who say I'm not afraid of uh, myself, I am. When I look in the mirror and I see my burnt face, I am scared of myself. So what do people think? They're also scared of me. No, not the whole of you. Not of you. Yes. Later on, when it's a bit cooler, I'll get the ladder and a stick and pull down those crap apples. They're right for it. I need jelly. It's a good time of year, September. Look at them. Orange and gold and that's magic fruit. I often say, but it's best fit and made into jelly. You could give me a hand. So Mr. Lamb is not a, you know, like interested in what this boy is saying. He's saying, look at these apples and they're right now and it's time to make them into jelly. Okay? And uh, right, it's the right time of the year. You can help me make them jelly. 
What have you changed your subject for? People always do that. Why don't you ask me? Why do you do what we all do and pretend it isn't true and isn't there? In case I see you looking and mind and get upset, I'll tell you. You don't ask me because you're afraid to. Now the daddy says, why are you changing the topic? We're talking about me. We're talking about my one face. We're talking about how people run away from me, how people are scared of me. Why have you changed the subject? And people always do that. They don't want to talk about me. They don't want to talk about my burnt face. Right? So they change the subject and they pretend that this does not exist. Right? So you can ask me, but you're not asking about me because you are. You want me to ask? Say so then. I don't like being with people, any people. He says, I don't want to be with people. I want to be alone. I should say, to look at it, I should say you got burned in a fire. So by looking at your face, it seems you got burned. Not in a fire. I got acid all down the side of my face and it burned it all away. It ate my face up, it ate me up, and now it's like this, and it won't ever be any different. So it says, let's see what happened is as it fell on my face, it burned my face. It ate away my face, it ate me up. How did it eat, eat the boy up? Change the boy, change the perspective of the boy. How he thought about himself. The boy became scared of himself. The boy started avoiding people. The boy wanted to be alone because he thought people are afraid of him. Okay? And now <laughs> his face is never going to change. His face is always going to be like this. He has this burnt face, and now people are going to look at him. No. Aren't you interested? So you want to know about my face, how people behave, what people say about me, how people talk about me. You're a boy who came into the garden. Plenty do. I'm interested in anybody, anything. There's nothing God made that does not interest me. Look over there, over beside the farm wall. What can I see? Right? So he says, of course I'm interested. I'm interested in you there. I like being with people and I like people to come to my garden. And everything that God has made is very, very interesting. And now he tells it, look at the wall over there. Where are these two standing? Can you tell me? Where are Jenny and Mr. Lab? Where are they? Yes? Come and give me the answers. Where are they? Mr. Dairy and Mr. Lamb, where are they? Yes, sir. Can you tell me where are Mr. Dairy and Mr. Lamb? Uh, where are Dairy and Mr. Lamb? Why, why does Dairy like to be with people? What has happened to him? Can you get answers, please? Yes? Why does it very like to be with people? What's, what's wrong with him? Can I get answers, please? You can text your answer. Yes? So where are they? They are in Mr. Lamb's garden. They came there because he thought there would be no one there. It's a isolated place. The house is vacant. So that is why he came over there. But to his surprise, he came across Mr. Lamb. Why does Derry want to stay away from people? Because he has a burnt face. 
right? And as a result of that, he avoids clear, right? Is this clear or not? Mr. Lamb, is he afraid of Delhi? No, he is not. Is he scared because of his burnt face? No. What does he tell him? That so many boys come over here and uh, yes, they come for the apples, they sometimes steal the apples, they spoil the, the garden, but I don't have any problem with them, right? And Delhi wants him to talk about his bird face, to ask him about him, then why is it that he avoids people? Why does he you know want to stay away from others? And what has made him practice? Okay, right. 